out of those three, which ones did you gravitate to the most? Hmm. Honestly, honestly, I liked all of them, in in diff- for different reasons though, because I think right now I, right now in my career, I prefer the defensive side and GRC. I think those are the two areas I'm most interested in. If I were to go back into the cybersecurity space, I would mostly be applying as SOC roles and GRC roles. Um, for a time, I was interested in threat intelligence, but I wasn't able to get a rotational program rotate rotation in that. So um, maybe in the future, I could try to do some kind of pivot in that. But um, I kind of like being jack of all trades in different areas in cybersecurity. I don't know how good that is for my career, but I know a lot of specializations make more sense for a lot of people. But so I guess I'll say the GRC one for now, since I'm kind of leaning towards that. Cool. Now, I think it's still cool because you'll see on applications, they'll say, oh, you need to know how to do this or this or this. And like, Mm. I was like, do y'all not know like how sometimes in some places like you don't get a chance to do these things, like you are looking for a unicorn. So being able to do many different things can possibly help you out to be that unicorn. And I would say like before doing IR, I mean, you already kind of know how important threat intel is, but you really don't mm-hmm. know until you need it. And how threat, like right. a good threat intel team is very good and they can have you already ready for the potential things that you may see. And um, I've experienced that, like, you know, within this year and last year, I thought, you know, it's pretty cool, like, especially with some of the stuff they do. I don't think, I think that's a role that doesn't get a lot of shine as well yeah. as the, this other role that I wanted to, to do. I was at one of the banks, but I couldn't do it because I just started at the bank like the couple of months into mm-hmm. like my tenure there. And it was like, you got to be in this role for like a year to leave. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. But they were trying to steal me to the threat modeling team. I want the threat model because mm-hmm. that's a neat skill set. Everyone, like if you go type in threat modeling, that's, there are a lot of jobs, but it's not going to be a bunch. So they're looking for somebody who's done it a while. And it's pretty cool. I think it probably would go into some of the stuff you were kind of learning in, in GRC and also mm-hmm. really all three of the jobs you did with the penetration testing, the program management stuff, and the GRC stuff. I think it would kind of lump into that. Yeah, for sure. While you were doing your first rotational program, is that because I was going to ask this later, but I was like, I feel like we would skip over in time because a lot of stuff coincides with one another. Right. When did the YouTube channel come up? Nice. Good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, so I'm originally from Philly. And then when I graduated, my job was in the New York metro area. So I basically, most of my friends stayed in Philly, actually. So I didn't really know that many people in New York. Um, and I wanted to do something outside of work that was still something because like in college I always had part-time jobs I always did work studies I always was in like student organizations so I always had something else I was doing outside of school or work and I also had always been curious about making a YouTube channel but I never did it because I was like what am I going to talk about so this was like November 2019 I was like, I started my job in July of 2019. So two months into, sorry, <clears throat> two months into my first job. And I basically just started this YouTube channel. I think, I don't know what I was doing at the time, but I was like, let me just do it. Um, so I just made videos and I wasn't making cybersecurity videos at first. I was making random videos and I already deleted them all because they're so, <laughs> they're so cringe to watch. but. Yeah, I don't even know what I was filming, but I basically, one of the videos was a, how I got my first job in cybersecurity. And at the time I had like less than a thousand subscribers. I was just making random videos. And this video, I think got like a thousand views or something. And I was like, whoa, that's, that's a lot of views. So, and then I got a bunch of questions in the comments of people asking me like, oh, what certs did I have? How did I prepare for my interviews? And like, random questions about cybersecurity. And I was like, okay, well, I can make another video answering these questions. And before I knew it, I was kind of just making cybersecurity videos and the channel slowly became a cybersecurity and tech like career advice channel. And since then, it's been about almost five years now. So I've 
kept up with regular post. And now I'm, since the last, I guess, like 10 or 11 months or so, I've been primarily doing content tech content creation full time since on my sabbatical. So it's pretty crazy where life takes you. Yeah. And we'll probably get some more into that uh, later on because mm-hmm. I know I definitely, I think I might have found you like two or three years ago. Really? <laughs> Yeah, because I start I started commenting. I was like, "This is some good stuff." Like, I learned the do's and don'ts. Like, yeah. when I started YouTube, I was doing a lot of stuff wrong. Of course, like, I mean, I kind of knew how to make content, but to try to get visibility, I was stepping on people's toes. I was. Oh really? Like, yeah, I had a I had a, a not a script, but I'll say, "Hey, you know, I'll say something," and uh, the script be, you know, go check out my new YouTube video, and I was. Posting on people's YouTube channels oh. <laughs> views that might have been related to it, and I was like, "That's definitely not the way." And um, I learned from that though, <laughs> but it was it was funny. I really just thought about that when you were talking about like we just started and it took off, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, we'll we'll definitely talk about that because I think I know I know why your channel um, took off the way it did. 